Let's figure out which fraction is greater, one fifth or one sixth. So to do that, what we need to do is find a denominator that's the same for each of these fractions. Once we do that, we can just compare the numerators. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take five and multiply it times six. Five times six, that equals 30. So we have our denominator 30 here. Down here, I'm going to take six and multiply it times five. And that also gives us a denominator of 30. But we can't just multiply the denominator. We also need to multiply the numerator. So we have five times six. We need one times six here. That gives us one times six is six. We have six thirtieths. When we're multiplying by six over six, that's just one. Six divided by six is one. So we don't change the value just the way it's written. These are equivalent fractions here. Down here, we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by five. One times five is five. Now we have the same denominator. We can just compare the numerators, figure out which fraction is larger, one fifth or one sixth. Since six is larger than five, that means six thirtieths, that's larger than five thirtieths, and one fifth is larger than one sixth. This is Dr. B looking at which fraction is greater, one fifth or one sixth. The answer, one fifth. Thanks for watching.